QRD. And I'm RNA. And this is the QRD and RNA Q&A podcast. Yes, questions and answers. And we're late this month. We are. Because we didn't record it all last month because we're busy. We're and busy people. And it's hard to get together and do this stuff. True. Okay. But we're back. And let's see. First we have a question. We'll start with a question. And because it's now October 1st, we're going to answer this question about what is your favorite Halloween movie? I stole Hocus Pocus because that's my favorite Halloween movie. It was both of our favorite Halloween movies. Because it's great. Because it's just great. Uh, but yeah, I had a hard time because I like a lot of scary movies, but they're not really Halloween specific. <laughs> but I did, um, I do really like that that old witches movie, The Witches, with the kids and the, the square toes. And I still am traumatized by the square toes. Is that the one where they have rats? Aren't there rats in it? I believe they turn kids into rats or something. They're going to turn the kids into rats, but somehow the witches all get turned. I don't know, it's been yeah, a really yeah. long time since I watched it. Rats. Yeah, I think I, yeah. I don't think that was a spoiler either because it's been years since I actually watched that movie. And that movie's from when the 80s, I don't know, I would have 70s? to look that up. <laughs> yeah. Probably 80s, you know. Maybe 80s, yeah. Maybe. Okay. All right, that was our first question. Mm -hmm. So let's see, what do we got next? Adventures. Because we do adventurous stuff, totally. Yeah. Um, my adventures were just doing the make mention. That was fun. Actually, that was a lot of fun. Meeting people and getting to watch people squish yarn and look at the colors. That was fun. And cackle my yes. maniacally. She had a yes. tell them about your maniacal laugh that you. Uh... I decided that we should have a discount for the evil laughter colorways. <laughs> so if you can tell me your or um demonstrate your best evil laughter I would give people a discount on a skein of evil laughter yarn and that really was the best part of the day I think the best part though was that I didn't know about this and so I'm sitting in her booth and I was and I was just like I actually happened to see somebody that I know outside of the makevention and somebody actually from work and she just all of a sudden starts like maniacally laughing and I thought, what is happening right now? I thought she was so excited about the yarn mm -hmm. that she had just to like spontaneous, spontaneously laugh. Yeah. And I just thought, wow, um, that's that's a reaction that somebody could have had <laughs> to that to that yarn. And then later, after my friend left, I found out that that was what was what the situation mm -hmm. was. And so then it made me laugh. That was worth that was worth three bucks off a skein. I would say so. Kept my day moving. Yeah. It's good stuff. And later on, people were like, oh, that's why I kept hearing that across the room. <laughs> so, that was fun. Uh, are those um, all your adventures? Well, really, it's all just yarn related. I yeah. also I put out my first pattern book, which I would show you it, but I forgot to pull it out of the box, and there's stuff on top of it. But if you go online, you can look at it <laughs> on the website. Uh, so, I was just that's really adventure. excited to see it like in print and mm -hmm. have it officially out so people can... Download it and stuff. Yeah, I can't get it cool. on Ravelry. I think there's either something wrong with the connection where I was trying to upload it, or um, maybe it's too big. I'm not sure. I'm gonna try it again somewhere else, but it's not on Ravelry yet. Um, but it is on. It is on my website. So, and then um, I've been writing patterns and having people test them, and that's always fun. Yeah. So that's all my adventures. It's nice. all yarn. That's yeah. all I do. <laughs> So, let's see, I've had some adventures since the two months ago that we <laughs> recorded last. Um, so I'm training for the Hilly 100, not quite ready. I think the longest ride that I've gone on is maybe 14 miles. That's a lot. It is a lot, however, the Hilly 100 is 100 miles. So, um, at I have to get up to at least close to 50, because that's what we do each day. Um, it's over a two day period. When is the It's race? the end of this month. I have, I, it. I have four weeks. I have four weeks to prepare for this race. Not, it's not a race, but ride. Um, so I'm looking forward to that, hoping I can get there and feel really, 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 really ready. Uh, got that. I went to Turkey Run, which is one of our state parks in Bloomington, or not Bloomington, but Indiana. And uh, it's beautiful. Oh my gosh. I went on this trail that was um, considered very rugged 
And it even says in the description of it that during lots of rain time that some of the trail is impassable. Mm. And there were um, like ladders and stuff that we had to climb down to get. Uh, there On your three... bike trail? It wasn't a bike trail. Okay, okay. It wasn't hiking. a bike trail. It All was right. a hiking trail. That's different. But yeah, so there were like ladders that we had to go on and, and there was like one area where I had to like maneuver like with my hands like this. It was totally an adventure for <laughs> sure. Um, but it was so fun and really, really beautiful. So that, that was enjoyable. Uh, let's see. What else do I say? Holiday World, yeah. Big Halloween town there. Yes. Because yeah. everything has to some way relate to Halloween all year. True. The best so, holiday in the world. Holiday World for folks that are not in Indiana and don't know about Holiday World. <laughs> it is in a town called Santa Claus, Indiana. And everything in Santa Claus is related to Santa. Couldn't imagine living there, but I visit there on occasion to go to Holiday World. And it's a lot of fun. What you looking for? Uh, nothing. I just remembered that oh. there's a book, uh, Weird Things in Indiana, and they have a whole section dedicated to the Santa Claus Wars in Santa Claus, Indiana. And I was going to pull Santa Claus out, Wars? Must be in the other room on the bookshelf. Oh, I know. I'm that's sorry. Interesting. I'm sorry. I'm Santa not a good Claus planner. Wars? Yeah. I what guess is there, this? Was, there was, I guess there was, it's been a minute since I read it. There was like two rival holiday related parks. What? In the other ones? Yes. yes. In the I'll same town? Area. Yeah, both in Santa Claus, Indiana. Oh my gosh. I'll find it for you. I'll find it after this, and maybe I'll find a link somewhere. I can so, post under the video. Okay, I do have to say, funny story, and Erin, I, I, you told me this story this morning, so I'm just going to share it about Holiday World um, <laughs> and her experience there as a child. You used to be able to like sit with Santa Claus, and they would like hand you, as a child, they would hand you a gift so that you could like sit there with your gift would they take on it back? Santa Claus's lap, and then they would take the gift back. That's kind of back. Mean. And so she never has gone back to ho Holiday World because she trauma. was like, trauma, yeah, traumatized. That's sad. <laughs> Could you sad. imagine sitting there on Santa Claus's lap and they give you a gift and you're all excited as a kid and then they take it away? It's awful. That is sad. Um, what I else? like Holiday World because they have water slides and they have awesome water slides. The last time we went, it was like in the fall. It's been a couple of years though. And... Since it was like a cool, cloudy day, there weren't that many people in the water park, and we rode this one water slide, we would just over and over and over, ride it down, and then go back up <laughs> over and over. We went so many times that I felt like I was going to throw up, <laughs> and I had to wait it out while they went a couple more times. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> but yes. That's awesome. Anyways. Um, also, I'm body, not bodybuilding, but like lifting weights. Yes. Not bodybuilding. Not bodybuilding. Uh, lifting weights. I did that yesterday for the first time in like forever, and I am very sore. So last, last, sore tomorrow. last podcast I talked about how my shoulders were bothering me and it was funny because I just happened to go and like work my shoulders and so as I was feeling them so sore this morning I thought how funny. I'm going to go and record and talk about that Let's talk about your shoulders every episode. That can be like a recurring theme. Yeah. And then I'm going to work are, on them and then they're going to be buff. How are Audrey's shoulders? And then you can just start being like, oh I don't know, let's look at that. I don't know. I don't know. Shoulders. Yeah. And I can just... <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah, we could just talk about, the and then you, we can just like <laughs> see how buff they're getting. Yes. I want them to be buff, mm -hmm. or at least kind of buff. Yes, <laughs> muscles, muscles. <laughs> Any more adventuring you'd like to discuss? Um, uh, I don't know. I feel like there were more adventures that I had on in mind before we started the recording, but I can't think of them now. We can have them um, anytime. Sure. It's, it's our they, podcast. We can do whatever we want. If they pop into mind, then I will <laughs> I will interject with them. Okay. Um, I'm just going to sip my, my tea. Next it's question. My tea. Tea. Okay. Totally, totally <laughs> healthy tea. Let me get my tea. <laughs> We've got tea. Tea. It's, it's adult tea. Uh -huh. Okay. Um, here's a question. Someone asked, how did you how did you train your dogs to ring a bell to go outside? So our dogs ring a bell when they want to go out. And they totally abuse it. It's not just when they want to go out to pee. If they just want to go outside to play, they will ring the bell. <laughs> yeah, that they know that that gets us up off the couch or whatever we're doing. Um, and Mike actually did it the best. But all we did was when they were puppies, every time we were going to take them outside, we would set them down by the door and pick up their little paw and, like, ring the bell with it and then open the door and they could go outside. 
And eventually they were like, ah, the bell means we go outside. So it just took a while to sink in. Nice. So that's it. And you get to do this question. Okay, which one? The bottom. <laughs> my, <laughs> my favorite type of grape. This is, this is uh, a question coming all the way from my oldest child. Um, I'd say my favorite type of grape actually is probably a seedless purple grape. Or possibly one that goes through a certain process that then you can put into a glass perhaps that might be show and tell while you just <laughs> show and tell. uh perhaps that kind of grape not sure um up in the air uh and what is my favorite or my the most interesting part of the grape growing process i also a random question for my oldest child um i would say the picking of the grapes you like picking the grapes? Sure. <laughs> the favorite part. That's my favorite part. Of all part. the parts. That's, that's the, the part best. of the growing process that I like the best. All right. That was two questions. Now, uh, FOs and whips. So. FOs and whips. FOs meaning finished objects. Yes. Whips, Do you have any progress. finished objects to discuss? So, I don't have any yarn finished objects, but I did want to bring in. I don't think I've shown these before. I haven't, have I? Well, definitely not this one. You but hold or you can... I can hold. Um, so I've got a painting, two paintings that I brought. It was just a random V painting that I thought was really pretty online, and so I decided to replicate it. I enjoyed making it. Let me know what you think. It's cute. Thank you. And then one I enjoyed kind of coming up with uh, an idea for. I kind of took three different ideas uh, from different sources and decided to make my own giraffe with an amazing crown her flower crown she's a queen yas queen <laughs> so That's yeah nice. so those are some finished objects i've got can we go ahead and do my whip or you want to do finished um, objects first well let's do finished and then we'll okay. go back to whip okay i have this shawl that is not blocked but it is technically finished there is no pattern. It is my, it was my de-stressing and not using my brain after the make invention yeah. shawl. So it's I just, so pretty though. Like I really like how it's got the different stripes of different patterns, but then I also the stripes of color. I believe it was um, self-striping yarn uh -huh. that I made it with. Uh -huh. um, but yeah, I just, I just started going. So I'm not sure what this will look like when I take it out see if I can find what the yarn I was using was. Nope, they're going to make me log in. I was going to say, do you want me to get it closer so that people mm. can see the pattern? It's called Sock Creations or Toe Creations. It's on my Ravelry page. I just the do not pattern? recall right now. Oh, no, the, the, oh, the, um, yarn. the yarn. Yeah. Yeah, I, I like that. It's nice colors. So yeah, it's just, it. it's just uh, really basic lace and garter. It looks very interesting and eye. Does it look fancy? Eye appealing. Yes, it does look fancy. Well, we'll see what it looks like when it gets blocked out. It yeah. should be nice and big. Well, cool. big ish, but we'll see. Okay, and I finished my socks. I don't have my socks from last month. Which ones did I finish? Whatever, I finished two pairs of socks, but here's my most recent Desert Vista socks. And these are uh, Zombity Loves the Two Knit Lit Chicks. I believe is the colorway and the two knit, <laughs> knit lip chicks I can't say it but it is an interesting podcast as I do talk about books a lot hmm. and I like books books and yarn two things I very much enjoy the and good things. technically these are finished although I haven't woven in the ends but they go with this hat the hat it is, is finished I made it with my mutant mini skein set I love that and it's fluorescent and very bright, so I will be safe from monsters. Also, here's the mitts, which I will weave in mm. ends eventually. <laughs> there are many <laughs> ends to weave, many ends. but I got matching mitts with with my leftovers. So, yeah, and I still have some yarn left over, so I tried to get them to use up an entire mini skein set, but it didn't even, so I still could have made them bigger. Nice. Um, I think that's all my finished. Nice. 
Oh my goodness, so what you got in progress? Well, so same thing that I've had for three months now. But it's so much bigger. It's so much bigger. My shawl, guys, because I'm a slow knitter. And you know what? You're there are a lot of people. Meticulous knitter. I love this. Yes, I'm meticulous. That's exactly what it is. I've got so much yarn still left to go though. Um, but yeah, it is getting bigger and it will block out to be a full shawl at some point in time. But yeah, it's all bunched up. But it's getting bigger all on either side here. Yeah, that is quite big. Yep. It's getting there. Nice. Yep. Um, I have an in-progress shawl as well. Let me just drop my row counter real <laughs> quick. I'm using my half skein sets from the Dark Fever series to make a shawl. A giant crescent shawl it will be. Nice. So. A crescent shawl? I've not heard of that. Uh, it's just the shape. Well, it's not really crescent, I guess. It's more like a half moon that this is going to be. Oh, okay. Because it's going to be actually half a circle. Nice. And a crescent, I guess, would be more mm -hmm. like elongated, yeah. But I don't know what I'm going to call it yet, but I'm trying to use a half, half skein set, so. They're mm. each 50 grams of yarn each color. I'll try to use as much of that as I can. And then cool. maybe I'll make a hat with leftovers or something. Nice. We'll see. So anyways, that's all I have in progress because I've been really busy making up patterns. And I have all these ideas for patterns, but I, I'm I haven't looking, had time I'm to dye the yarn. I'm looking forward to your fall yet. one that you I were know, talking about. We're not going to talk about it in detail right now. I have You're to order some more skeins. Yes. And then I'll dye them Guys, all. And then I'm excited I'll about this. The pattern and the colors. But even if I don't get it done for this fall, like I can just keep it out next fall. True. You could have like a, you could like help me test it, and then we have yeah. a whole year to test it. <laughs> if, we, if I don't, we know Audrey needs if all I don't year. Get it done. If I get it done <laughs> before get it that, fall. if I get it done before that, Audrey well. needs all year for fall shawls. <laughs> well, it'll be a <laughs> leaf so leaf sorry. pattern. So. Meticulous. Yeah. I am so meticulous. Yes, very detail oriented. Detail oriented. I like it. <laughs> uh, that's it. Let's see. Questions. More questions? More questions. This one's for you. How do you care for a second degree burn? How do you care for a second degree burn? Well, um, typically what you would do is make sure that it's clean and there's nothing still stuck on your skin. Uh, run it under some water. You wouldn't want to cool it down too fast, but um, run it under some water or put something cool on it uh, and then you would want to keep cream on it as far as maintenance so your husband was the one that burned himself yes this is the, his question he was burned at work by hot molten plastic oh, hot molten plastic yeah so I think he did the right things putting some triple antibiotic ointment on it after it was cleaned um, and then just keeping a non-stick dressing on it and changing that every day to make sure it stays clean. You want to just keep it clean basically so it doesn't get infected at all. And yeah, just let it heal because it'll take two or three weeks to heal. All right, let's see. Next, super fight. Super fight. Uh, last episode, we said that whoever voted, you know, we'd pick a winner. Mm -hmm. And we had the random number selection choose and Emily who voted for the shark. Um, actually, everyone voted for the shark, so the shark totally won scrap out of that super fight. Yes, it did. And, uh, Emily, you're the winner, so uh, <laughs> you need to, I think I might have your address from something, but email me with your address and what set of stitch markers off my website you want, and I'll get those shipped out to you. I like being a winner. It's nice. Winning is nice. <laughs> I'm not sure what's happening out there. I don't either. I don't think I want to know. Okay. So, um, yeah, send us your info and which ones you want, and I'll ship you out a set of stitch markers. I feel like I should check on him. <laughs> okay, 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 we're stop. <laughs> there is oh, no, strange again. noises. <laughs> it's going again. It's going again. <laughs> I don't know what they're doing. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> okay, um, so let's pick another super fight, but we still have more questions and stuff to go over so okay we're just gonna throw in some super fight <clears throat> oh we are okay well we need our super fight for next time oh so next time whoever wins super fight is gonna get so whoever 
votes on our super fight, we'll pick a random number generated winner. And next time, you'll win a pair of fingerless mitts. So, their colorway is Nosferatu. And they're in, um, it's the Welcome to the Hellmouth charts. So, so everybody who votes will have a chance to win a pair of mitts that I'll ship out to you. And I made these, and they're my yarn and all that, so. They're gonna nice. probably have puppy hair in them. Just so you know. All right, we're picking stuff and three things. Three. Yes. Let me grab three. I don't know why I forget it every single time. I forget it. It's just been too long. Uh, let's see. Well, you pick one, but you draw a random. Well, you pick a person oh, and, that's right. yes, and an that's attribute, right. and then you draw a random. Yes. Okay, so while you select your random, I'm Jason. Oh, no. I'm riding a motorcycle, but since it's Jason, really slowly and ominously towards you. But also, my surprise is I have no legs! <laughs> <laughs> and that must be why I'm on the motorcycle. It's more of like a, you know, health moped thing. But still. Um, so... All right, my, really slowly. mine is everyone in a Walmart super center at 2 a.m. Oh, that is really scary. Yeah. I'm already afraid. Okay, continue. Yeah. And my, my power is that I can catch my opponent by walking no matter how fast they run. That's just like me. We're <laughs> twinsies. Okay. <laughs> my surprise is that I don't have any depth perception. Oh, we're a good combination. Okay, okay so who's going to win in this fight? Who will win? Who? We're twinsies, so this is going to be I tough. I think everyone. I in, still have a machete because I'm Jason, still even though I have no legs. Even though I have no legs. I mean, if we're, in, if we're talking about the Super Center in Texas, everyone would have guns. You know they didn't that everyone specify. would have guns. They Technically, didn't they didn't specify. Just Could be saying. all Walmart everywhere at 2 a.m. I like this, yes. <laughs> But Jason, you know, he doesn't die. So, can you ever really win in that super fight? Yeah, you can. <laughs> okay. You can hold him down forever. Um, all right, and our last question is, how do the deadlights correlate to it? <laughs> That's your question. I know. And I'm we gonna, just watched it this weekend. I'm going to sip my tea while you answer that. Let me do that. Just for, like, moral support here. Okay. So, if you've seen it or read the book, the deadlights, I was going to ruin it for you if you haven't seen it, but the deadlights are those lights that shine, that basically are powering it. And yeah, that's how they correlate. The deadlights power it. And there's this big long thing you can go down where you find out there's like, deadlights are like this god or whatever, and they're the bad side, and the good side is like this infinite turtle or something, and I got all excited when in the movie they show like a turtle sitting on a desk in a classroom and then it never shows up again. And they say nothing else about the turtle. So then I was kind of disappointed. But yeah, so yeah. Yep, that god of some kind powering it that created it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and if you watch The Dead Zone, they have something to do with like the future death. I don't even know. <laughs> it doesn't make sense. It's Stephen King stuff, so. It's good, but does it have to make sense? Do you need to know all the information? I have to no. read all the books to know all the information, and there's no way I'm going to know that. Okay. All right, that's all of our questions for today. And this is October 1st, so it's going to be Halloween soon. So when I show you uh, my new yarns, we yes. Did, we didn't talk about our favorite Halloween movie. Oh, yes, we did. Yes, we did. We did. That was question number one. That was question number it's one. It's been so long I've ago. had too much tea. Oh, not Halloween related, but my favorite scary thing right now immediately is that series on Netflix again, The Haunting of Hill House. I just watched it again, and Mike was like, what is this, the second time you've watched it? And I was like, four? <laughs> <laughs> it's good. <laughs> four? Hmm. It's good. It and is so, good. I've seen it. So I mentioned that just because... Just once, though. I mentioned that because one of my colorways is um, 
called Dancing in the Red Room. Oh. And it's a really pale mauve, pinky mauve, with some navy blue and some deeper mauve splashed across it. And yeah, so that's good. And then we have, I finally made Chud Blood a semi-solid. Nice. So fluorescent green Chud Blood. I need to get a black light so I can start showing the fluorescence. <laughs> okay, and then it's tall. This one is not some starry-eyed waif. And it's got a green and black and uh, a little really deep mauve in there twisted together. I like that one a lot. And it's Gamora from um, Guardians of the Galaxy because I also like that. It's really beautiful. I love it. And she is awesome and not some starry-eyed wave. Okay. It's gonna be fall. I'm down to two skeins because someone got a birthday gift. But this one is Fall in the Hollow. And it's a spiral die, so some of them mixed together, but not a lot. That's very but it's, folly. For stars, hello, because the Gilmore Girls. Nice. So, yeah, it's uh, got green, gold, orange, red, and brown twisted. Twisted a bit together. It's really pretty. Very hey. folly. That would make some really pretty fall socks. This one is called Hello Boys, because I've been watching a lot of Supernatural. And I just love that show. And it's just got red and some gray and black like kind of modeled up together. There's a chunk of red and then the gray and black are kind of mixed together a bit. Okay, and then the last one is well, again fluorescent and it's Hocus Pocus related. Mm -hmm. It's called Amuck. Amuck, Amuck, Amuck. Yes. And it's got fluorescent purple and fluorescent orange. And I twisted them together so there's spots where they mix and then there's black twisted in with them. And it's fluorescent because Halloween should have something bright in it, right? Yeah. In the dark. Sure. Um, I think that's all I have for my shop update. I didn't show last month's yarn because they're already put away and given away. So there's not a lot to show you anymore. But anyways, that's it. That's all I got. So tell us who you think would win, and we'll ship out um, a pair of Wrangler's mitts. Next time, we'll tell you who wins that. They're beautiful. And send us questions, whatever random question you feel like. <laughs> we may answer you truthfully. We may look up the answers, and we, we may just... And we might just make it up. Make it up. <laughs> so. Um, yeah, that's it. Okay. We'll talk yeah. to you next time.